Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel, Mesh. Thank you so my much. Man. How are you, brother? For having me in your perfect library, my. Oh, friend. bro, thank you. This is uh, this is your suggestion. You said, "Hey, man, I want to come to your place," and I said, "What better place in the library? Why not?" No, it's it's a beautiful place. I I love what you have done with your place. Appreciate it. Thank you. But now, having said that, um, why invest in real estate and what the future brings? I mean, everybody's been talking about that, right? I mean, like it's. Big topic. Listen, it's a big topic, but it's also one of those topics where it almost seems like it's the same question over and over again with a new twist, right? And look, right. we're already in 2024, right? right? And I think if our conversations over the last few podcasts, over the last few videos have eked in this uh, uh, direction, but why should you? There's no other asset class. There's no other form of investing that has made not just more millionaires, I'm going to throw that out there for a second, sure. but has created more stability for the average person than real estate. And so it's one of those things where you don't need to have, you know, an advanced finance degree if you're doing maybe some stock trading or derivatives trading. You don't need to be you're very tech savvy and computer if you're into like, you know, um, IT, programming, whatever. And the list goes on and on where the barrier of entry for some of those other careers is lots of education, great network and whatever. Real estate's one where all the information you need is out there. You can make it a lot quicker if you find the right people. They'll help guide you there. Yes. And look, we're in, in a market, and, and I say this not because we live here, but as expensive or as booming as Canada seems, we're just at the beginning. Like if you think about Canada as a country, we are still extremely young compared to global countries. And yeah. we have the capacity to invite more guests and friends and people to come to Canada to call Canada home. And so that that's why we we, we have a lot of good things going on. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's definitely becoming a hub for, yeah. for, for, for a lot of the countries and businesses yeah. and whatnot. But um, having said that, when it comes to real estate and uh, investments and all that stuff, yeah. Even rich people invest in real estate. Yeah. Firms, Wall Street invests in real estate, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's the one thing where with the information we have today, look, real estate is for everybody, right? Different capacities, different this. Like, you know, some of the stuff is some of the biggest hedge funds, some of the biggest funds in the US are gobbling up residential real estate faster. As we speak faster <laughs> than they can be created. Sure. So it tells you something. Why are they doing that? What do they know that we don't know? Well, number one, they know a lot of things. Of course. But number two, I would also say, and this is just my personal speculation, I'm not you know, saying anything that's of whatever. Of course, yeah, but, but what we I believe, see it though. Yeah, we see it. So what I'm saying is like, you know, if they're gobbling up a lot of these real estate assets, I think it probably is in our best interest or in the viewer's best interest or anyone listening to kind of understand why that is and how they can maybe get a piece of that. Yeah. So having said that, like, uh, well, uh, like uh, obviously a big halt or, or fear or that particular situation has been mortgage rates. Yeah. Obviously they have been climbing in the last, you know, 18 months. Yes. Uh, 24 months. Uh, and it definitely creates a lot of uh, traction, uh, uh, uncertainty, I would say Absolutely. like, like, like different type of traction, right? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. so, yeah. So, but what does the future bring? You know, like we, we know some stuff, we can predict some stuff and we also can see some stuff. Yeah. So what about the mortgage rates? Like, uh, what, what do we know so far? What, what is the prediction? Yeah. So predictions, it's a, it's a great segue into this next step. So based on the data that we're seeing, a lot of other professionals in the industry, I think the worst is behind us, right? It's been 18 years of re 18 months, sorry, of really aggressive hikes. Most of that was because of the inflation in the market. And so I think as of last month, as of December, they've kind of said, you know, inflation is back down to a number. I'm sure you're going to put the graphic up. So I'll give yeah, the exact yeah. number, but yeah. we're back at a place yeah, where, somewhere. exactly, where it's comfortable in us that, you know, maybe it's done its job. The rate hikes have done its job. So we're already seeing that with bond yields and the bond market. So for fixed mortgages, the rates have started coming down. Okay. Now, you know, if you've been on this channel, you listen to us speaking, I've always been a big proponent of variable mortgages just for multiple reasons. And we can talk about that later. Sure. But 
you know, the variable mortgage market hasn't started coming down yet, but we believe that in this coming year, probably by Q2, they should come down hopefully by a quarter percent. As long as things stay the same and they don't tick up again, that's a great sign. Because once that happens, quite a lot of Canadians have their money tied into variable mortgages. They'll start feeling a little bit of relief. And once again, that confidence will come back and hopefully things start coming back. Yeah, I think that's a good word. You you used confidence, right? So so just hypothetically speaking, yeah. what would happen if in the next year the rates drop by half a percent or one percent? Different increments, but let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think the same thing that happened on the way up will happen on the way down. And I think for the vast majority of Canadians, we've been in the last five year, we've been in a lower interest rate environment. And so the access to money has been relatively easy. Now, I'm not saying easy at everybody's acceptable, but there's a lot more lenders. Your, your ability to get access to it has been greater. Now that the last 18 months, the prices have gone up on rates, you know, people's affordability has been slashed drastically, okay? And so what does that mean? As rates come down half a point or a full point, you don't have to do anything different except for continue to hold on to that job and have the right factors, and then your ability to buy increases, okay? So so I think from a, from a standpoint of like people that are sitting on the sidelines who would have been able to afford 18 months ago and now are just priced up because of rates, it's great because now I think they know what they can afford. Once the, the lending criteria gets back in line, sure. they can jump and buy something. So I do think it's going to set off a bit of a, a frenzy, if you will, because I think what most people are looking for is just security and a sense of the bottom, meaning that, hey, the worst is behind us. Sure. Optimism will come back in. You know, the one thing we don't talk about, or we do, but most people don't get is, you know, we're still attracting a lot of um, new immigrants to Canada, and that's yes. not going to stop for the next decade, right? I don't think it, it will ever stop. Yeah. Because like, like, like what you have mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, Toronto and the surroundings, we have a lot of land. Yeah. Um, the infrastructure, obviously, it's questionable in every city, but yeah. it's getting better. You yeah. know, they're, they're, they're trying. Yep. Um, but, you know, like, like I, I can definitely see uh, Toronto become the next, you know, New York, Chicago, or, sure. or, 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 or something like that, right? Sure. Like in the next, you know, decade or two, right? Because I, I think we have the blueprint right now, and it's a young city. Yeah, right? sure. Like it's, 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 it's becoming ex exciting and all of that stuff. But uh, when it when it comes to properties and real estate, you know, uh, it does double uh, every ten to fifteen years on yes. average. Yeah, it, it doubles, of course, right? So, course. Um, I I spoke to a friend of mine, and 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 he mentioned something that that is very interesting. He said, like, you know, twenty years ago, you were short a hundred thousand dollars, okay. Um, then, uh, 10 years ago, you were short $500,000 yeah. and then today you're short a million dollars. Exactly. Like you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. so no matter what you will be short, uh, and then in the next 10 years, 20 years, you'll be maybe short $4 million. If you don't step in the game, if you don't create that, you know, network and, 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 and different, um, in investment strategies are out there and then whatnot. Like, if you, listen, if you cannot invest in downtown or close to yeah. the AAA, try to invest somewhere else. Would you agree? Absolutely. I think one of the things that, you know, and we're in the business and we forget because look, we're human, we're investors, we're, you know, we're, we're fathers, we're husbands, we're sons, we're, we're all these things. Yes. So we're also human. So as much as we'd like to think if we were just like, an AI bot, like looking at data all day, I'd love to be able to say, oh my God, we can time everything perfectly, yes. but life happens. And so that's why real estate, for those who are not in real estate and are, are thinking about getting in real estate, here's the one thing it affords you. It affords you a hedge against inflation. And maybe that's something we can talk about in another conversation yeah. because there's a lot to talk 100%. about. But really simply, all that means is this. If you did nothing else and you, you had some interest in real estate, guess what? As the markets continue to rise and drop and rise and drop, over time, your investment in that asset or that real estate will continue to move with the market. So if you did nothing but bought a home and lived in a home and just lived your life, 
by the time the end of that life cycle comes in, you'll have a sizable amount of whether it's money, exchange, or security blanket, I like to call it, for you to move on to the next phase of life. Whereas a lot of times when people don't have other investments, and let's just say we're sitting on cash, the unfortunate part is the value of cash depreciates or diminishes so much faster. I don't have to tell you, I mean, just go to your grocery store, go pay for your kids' activities. And, you know, I mean, the other day, I think we were at a Mr. Sub Subway shop. I'm, I'm not uh, giving him a plug, but I'm saying, you know, what used to be oh, $6 for a, a foot long or $7 for a foot long is $14 now. Yeah. The ingredients haven't got any better. Right? Yeah. So, you know, it, it makes you think like, you know, we have to do, what can we do outside of working more or, or, or training ourselves more that can protect us for that in our retirement? Yeah. So, so basically, so, so how I see it, um, in your lifetime, in, in your working uh, lifetime span, right? Yeah. You can make or do X amount of funds, dollars you can achieve. But why not have the the the, the sideline a real estate investment growing with you? Absolutely. Right? So, but what I have noticed, like when and we went through, you know, past few years where the market was just going crazy, right? Yeah. Like like we were selling like like uh, properties, like well, like we were selling them overnight and whatnot. But even even um, in in this time, um, I think the force appreciation. Uh, will will be something that that investors and 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 people that that uh, that own real estate can uh lean back to. yeah you know you can renovate a house you can rent it you can split it there's the, the opportunities with real estate uh, are are incredible right? absolutely because do you remember like you know the 10 years ago or like when we were trading like like there was a big difference between upgraded houses and not upgraded. Hundred percent. So I think those times are, are are coming back, right? So hundred percent. And then one of the other things I wanted to touch about is, you know, sometimes we feel real estate can be overwhelming. Sure. No, no doubt about that. I mean, getting the wrong advice sets you back years. Yes. But sometimes getting the right advice also sets you up for future success. Now, what do I mean by that? You know, I have clients that come to me all the time that maybe aren't in a position to have a full deposit. Maybe they're living with their parents. Maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe, maybe all these different things. And so they have a bit of money and you know, it's always the golden goose. I'm waiting to save more. I'm waiting to save oh. more. I'm waiting for the market. How many times did you hear exactly. that? Exactly. And so we say yeah. that's a, that's a noble thing to do. Unfortunately, you know what doesn't wait for you? The market. Yes. And so sometimes what I'll say is, look, you may not be in a position to buy and move into something right now, Maybe we can get you into something where your asset is growing in real estate. And then let's take, for instance, a new construction project where we can have you deploy your money in that project. And guess what? In three years or four years, when it is actually due and it's matured, even if you decide not to move into that, not, into, not to rent in that, well, guess what? Your money has now moved with the market. So now, should you cash that out? Now you have a bigger portion than what you had before. You can then take that piece and go do something else with it in real estate. So your money's still growing with you passively in real estate without you having to become a landlord, having to do renovations, having to pay property taxes per se, you know, and uh, there are other ways to, to to deploy that. So let me touch on that. Like yeah. uh, a, a, a good friend of mine, like he uh, bought a boat. Okay. Like, like a little yacht. Okay. Whatever. Like, okay. you know, like it, it, it was... I don't know, twenty thousand, twenty five thousand dollars. Nothing sure. special, sure. like a bay liner or whatever. And um, he was towing it to the lake. And he said, uh, "Well, it's 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 only a twenty thousand dollar boat." Yeah. Right. I said, "Yeah, I agree." Right. But then when he put it in the water, and when we drove away, right, I looked at him and I said, "Now it's a million dollar boat." He said, "No, it's not." I said it is because now the product is finished. We're already sailing off and we're looking at the coast and we're yeah. enjoying. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah, of course. So with new construction, um, when you have it on on on, on, on the hitch yeah. and, and, and w while you're driving to the lake, while you're looking at that construction, it really doesn't matter. It keeps growing. You just don't see it. Yeah. But once it's built yeah. and once the project is complete, once you can actually see it, then it's worth more 
than what it was on the hitch of course beside the lake of course so that's the difference right so and usually when one project is uh, and we are working on one project as we speak yeah. which is amazing and and I want you to talk about sure. that in a second sure but um when a project is finished usually other projects start to uh see life and and they and and they get also noticed but that project has gone up in value you know there's a funny saying in 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 life it's like nobody wants to be first but the person who is first usually gets to reap the rewards of being first. It's like first person into a, a dark situation or whatever the case sure. is. You know, a lot of that has to do with trusting the resources that you have around you. Where are you getting that source of information from? Yes. You know, are the people that are giving you advice, <coughs> excuse me, you know, do they have a track record for these things? Yes. You know, and all of these things matter because, you know, as we are seasoned in the business and, you know, as we get to a different stage in life, I just know this. I would rather work with someone who's done this for quite some time, yes. has gone through not just good times, but bad times, because you know they're going to give you a more balanced view of what to expect. And so instead of having trying to figure out where's the next great spot or who's going to be the next, oh, this builder is going to be amazing. It's I'd overwhelming. Rather, it's so over, the information it's is everywhere. It's overwhelming. But what I would say is I'd rather not go for the, the shiny dangling object I'd rather go for the tried and true thing that I know is going to give me a return and is is going to make my clients money. So what is that? Okay. Glad you asked. Because he asked. Okay. <laughs> we're kicking off a series of these videos right now where we're going to be telling you a little bit about a project where we've had some great success uh, toward the tail end of last year. It's Arcadia. Of course, you know, you've seen a bunch of videos we've done. We've got a special event for a lot of our past clients and for uh, you, you guys, you allied resources who have made this a success for us, February 4th, we're going to be giving a bunch of information on that. Now, if you're not on that list, please don't take it personally. We have limited space of only 100 spots that are already getting filled up, but we have some amazing builder exclusive incentives that we are going to be offering. And I think that this is the last time in this cycle that rates will be this low for new projects, right? Now, we could be wrong with certain things, but I think the minute the Bank of Canada, and more importantly, you know, the US Fed rates, once they start announcing that we're over this hump and that the rates are coming down, there's going to be renewed sense of um, yeah. motivation and excitement and just relief in the market. And you're going to see a spark hit, I think, toward the mid end of this year and 2025 is going to go like gangbusters. So what does that mean? That means that prices will never be this low again for resale, for sorry, new construction projects. Now, one of the things that I want to make clear is, you know, could you find a better deal in the real resale market right now? For sure you can. You could probably find something that's discounted 20 to 30% right now. The only difference is qualifying for that means you have to qualify on today's mortgage rates at today's prices, and you have to have that money now, okay? So if you do, awesome <laughs> deals to be had, Great. okay? But if you don't, I still strongly believe, I know you still strongly yes, believe 100%. that the pre-construction business is a great place for you right now because we don't have to wait four years. By the end of this year, you will have already made money. 100%. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah, Arcadia, we're going to be talking a little bit more about it. This is the last time we've actually secured 10 specific units that have additional incentives that nobody else has. And we're not going to talk about them here right now because we don't want whatever... But if you're interested, I'm sure you'll leave some links of how sure. they can get a hold of us. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're, and we're going to be doing that throughout the year. Yeah. We're going to find a couple others like that as well. 100%. Reach yeah. out. Anyway, Smash, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Uh, you, you made me feel very comfortable awesome. Thank in you. your library. I hope uh, you like uh, what you have heard today. Uh, got some uh, great nuggets out of this. Yes. And um, please like and subscribe and uh, see you soon. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching.